Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Andy. Thank you for being here. This is my vibrational reading. Please do your own research for entertainment purposes and allegedly. Hello, you guys. I hope you're having a great day. Just want to say going into this today that uh, tomorrow I will be gone. I will not be doing any uploading. Probably not until Monday. Uh, Monday I will do an upload. I am going to spend some time with Mother Nature and hit the ski slopes. Be out in the frigid cold. Yes, that's what I'm going to be doing. So, yeah, probably maybe my last ski trip of the season. Maybe one more. I don't know. But anyways, it's not my favorite thing to do. It's okay. I don't mind it, but I am cautious. I don't like the idea of getting injured like which I did a few years ago. So, I'm kind of... Um, very apprehensive, slow skier. I take my time. I just like the long, slow, easy routes. Let's put it that way. I'm not a daredevil. Not at my age. So anyways, uh, today I would like to hit up um, Ashley. Ashley is an immigration and foreign affairs lawyer. Uh, that is Sam's daughter. Um, I have spoken privately with Samantha, and um, she feels that um, her daughter uh, in the Netflix show has shown distress uh, not being herself and definitely controlled by Megan and not her confident self and also not wearing makeup, uh, doesn't want to upset her aunt, cannot look better than her aunt. So this is why I think this new person working for her um, Archwell is going to be a problem because she's kind of a, a much better looking version than uh, Megan, in my, in my opinion. And so this is going to be a problem. She can't work with uh, attractive women. So Ashley is intelligent too. And so that's going to be a problem. So I'm kind of wondering how it's going between them right now, representing them, because I, I think that she is the go-to um, that's helping them with um, this Lilibet and Archie getting titles. This is the only game thing they have left, the only game piece they have left. And, you know, Harry does not want an apology, what he wants, he wants full submittal of a surrender. He wants full surrender. Uh, he still, I think, has this fantasy of being uh, king of England and would probably prefer, uh, I'm not so much from him, but from Markle, a plane crash away, uh, to be in the position that uh, she fantasizes about. So a lot of sick energy, as we know here. And I appreciate the comments and the love um, that I get from you guys about you know, my assessments and um, just sharing little bits and pieces of myself. But I will say it doesn't come without criticism. Let's put it that way. Uh, occasionally I get criticized or I catch it on some feed somewhere, you know, so it's a little heartbreaking, but that's part of being a YouTuber. You got to end up um, developing some thick skin. Anybody who's interested in uh, being a YouTuber, you, you end up having to um, grow gator skin, I think. I, have, I don't have gator skin yet, but it does thicken up. But occasionally there's that shock factor, yes. Yeah, so do the best I can. That's all I can say here. So let's get some energy on Ashley and how she's feeling about the representation that she's kind of um, being entangled, you know. Um, I don't think she truly is enjoying herself just by her body language alone. Um, she knows she's controlled. She knows she's under that control and it probably doesn't feel good. She sees a lot. Her body language just wasn't um, one of a woman of confidence. So what we have here is the tower to the worst degree. That would also be in this deck here, I will say, in this deck here, there's an eyeball above the tower, which is envy directed at you an evil eye. So she feels like, yeah, there's, as far as I'm concerned, there's envy directed at her. She also realizes it's going to crash and burn to where there's not going to be any rebuilding. This, she sees it coming. She feels it. She knows it. This isn't going well. It's not going well. So she's not going to be able to do much for them. Let's get another card. <clears throat> wow. These one out. I will take them. We have here. Yeah. She's going down the wrong path. Uh, it's, it's just not working out. So they're going down the wrong path. There's going to be a tower crashing degree to the worst where there's no rebuilding and also King of Swords getting cut out. I think she feels that King Charles will be cutting titles. They won't be getting what they want. She can represent them all she wants in terms of this immigration, foreign affairs, uh, Lilibet being a foreign born uh, granddaughter, quote unquote. I say that with quote unquotes because I don't believe they have her. So uh, it's lies. It's all, everything's kind of built on lies. It's not built on truth with that sword down. 
also represents getting cut out. So basically being very, and, and claiming cruelty uh, of King Charles, because I do feel this it will come. I think he's gonna do it with great apprehension is what I've said before. It's not something that's pleasant for a, for a parent. No parent wants to do this, but I think he's gonna do it so that he can have his reign and have his day in the sunshine. Uh, he'd wait, he waited way too long to uh, just hand it over to William. So I think he will do it but it's not gonna be a pleasant experience. Uh, lots of sadness uh, related to it, and he will get the cruelty pinned on him. Oh, you're so cruel. So that will be pinned on him, no doubt. Uh, and um, not being pleased. So this card here, yeah, we have here, Page of Cups in reverse. Not going to give them what they want. They're not gonna be pleased, or they're gonna feel emotionally unstable with the situation, because the children with the situation is unstable. They're gonna be disappointed, they're going to probably play the vulnerable, uh, make negative uh, emotional announcements about it. Uh, and uh, it's just going to be total negative announcements. There's going to be no emotional beginning. So they're going to probably play the emotional blackmail Well, you'll never get to see them kind of thing. Even though we already know that Archie uh, may probably may have, Ar have Harry's, but definitely not Meghan Markle's DNA. The whole DNA thing, this whole DNA thing would be settled if they just submitted DNA. Uh, we wouldn't be talking about this. There would be no um, uh, mass communication across social media and everyone talking about it uh, from commenters and channels galore. On, you know, just the amount is ridiculous. None of this would be going on. So it's gonna be a negative announcement about being cut. The kids are not getting the titles and they've gone down the wrong path and there's a lot of envy directed. They're going to direct their envy at King Charles. They're envious, they want what he has. They want, they want, they want to be, they want to be top dog. Let's face it. He's with the Meg, he's with Megan who wants top dog. Uh, this would have never occurred had he not married her, of course, but Ashley sees it coming. She sees that nothing's going to pan out in their favor with these four, four cards here. Let's clarify it and get a little to the details with the minor arcana, which goes more into uh, daily life events. Major arcana, which this is all major, is the major situations, which is not going to change. This is what's coming. This is what's gonna happen. The minor arcanas is where uh, you have free will, and through free will, if you don't like what you see, you can make some adjustments with your behavior, which can adjust the situation. But since this is major arcana, I see this going down the pipeline and not going to be anything that they can do about it whatsoever. So let's start with the page. Oh, wow, this wants out, I'll take it. <laughs> Nine of Pentacles in reverse. They're not going to feel so independent. They're not going to have the material success, well-being, and confident. They're not going to achieve what they want. They're not going to get what they want. With the nine, that's um, that's the breaking point to where they're going to get what they want. If it was in this position, it's in reverse. So it's basically going to feel like a negative competition, a very negative competition, not getting what they want. Megan's not going to get what she wants. She's not going to get that individualistic feeling that cornucopia this is sort of my cornucopia card getting everything just having my table full of everything that i want in life she's not going to get it uh so she's going to have envy directed at other people in that position workaholism there's a setback very insecure financially and energetically uh because those children are her money bags basically uh they're a they're a tool they're a tool to use for marketing it is a it is her it's her it's her chess piece in essence that chess piece is going to fall apart she's not going to be able to play it anymore uh so that chess piece is going to be removed and that's going to be a major mortal wounding of the narcissist far as i'm concerned yeah that's not going to go over well at all let's clarify the king of swords in reverse king of swords in reverse King of Swords in reverse. Here we go. It's going to be a major burden being told no. Yeah, it's a no. You can see that no written right on there. I do that for myself because sometimes it's hard for me to remember everything. I am not the sharpest tool in the shed. I try, but sometimes I'm just not all there. You know, I got that menopause, menopause brain. But anyways, here we go. No, no, you're being told no. You're not getting titles. You're being cut out. However, there will be, be some bridges where I think Harry will have that bridge where there can be some emotional harmony for him. 
uh, I don't feel it will be for Markle. I feel this here strongly that Markle will feel like, well, I cannot use my kids as tools. Uh, really, they're just a, like a toaster to her. Nothing more than a toaster. Um, they're just a, a chip, a piece to play. Uh, and that's what sociopaths do. Everybody serves a purpose. And those kids are meant to serve a financial purpose for her. Not going to happen. Major burden being told no. So she's going to go on that cruelty thing. She might try to build bridges through the no, uh, quite possibly, um, by doing other things that make might make her feel harmonious. Uh, I personally feel with this, it's going to be going on to somebody else, not Harry. Because once she loses this game piece... Uh, she's gone. She's going to be gone because there's nothing left to play. So I feel she will bur She will um, build bridges with other men. Hey, look at me. Look at me. Come get me. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. Come save me. Uh, I feel that she will claim sort of this damsel in distress. And that's her way of doing it. That's what sociopathic females do. They play damsel in distress. So I feel she will play damsel in distress and claim that everybody's cruel to me. And um, look what they've done. They're not accepting my children. Please come rescue me. I'm drowning in this pool of water here because I went down the wrong path. I went down the wrong path, drowning in her own tears and water. The, the victim pity play. So let's get to the fool in reverse. The fool in reverse took a wrong maneuver. She took the wrong road, left loyalty behind. That's what happens when you lose loyalty. You know, um, family may not be perfect. Uh, most often they aren't. But oftentimes you will never find, if you have someone, even if they're not perfect, but they're loyal, they help you out, they pick you up, they're your cheerleaders. They may not be perfect. Most families aren't. But you will never find the loyal dogs like you will with parents with family and she's going to learn that hard lesson good luck finding loyalty out in the real world it's very difficult finding total unending loyalty to your deathbed loyalty is what i'm getting at with people out in society because most friendships with personality disordered individuals especially with narcissism the average friendship lasts about two and a half years before it falls apart same with borderlines and um, you're not going to find the loyalty. Either the people leave them or they get they do the dumping and discarding. Uh, the loyalty is just not there. They're not going to find the loyalty. She jumps off the cliff for her own selfish measures and leaves total loyalty behind. And she's left holding the bag, drowning in sorrow. Uh, so this is something we're going to see. She cannot stay loyal to anybody. She's always going to go down the wrong road dumping and discarding loyal people because normally there's a dog on here with this fool's card she dumps loyalty left and right and that is going to be a major life lesson that she's going to have to learn is that your parents maybe they're not perfect but if they're decent halfway decent people who've always been your cheerleaders in society uh you're not going to find that she's going to re it's really going to be such a hard lesson uh, and here she is, that cat toying, toying with emotions. What do cats do? They play. They play and toy with you. She, this cat's on the on the on this uh, cliff, claiming purity and innocence here with that white. That white represents purity and innocence. Well, well, the cat was just toying around with the individual, throwing out the passion flower there of the red flower. Um, so yeah, she's she's gonna suffer. This this here is gonna be a life lesson. <clears throat> That although her dad's not perfect, her sister's not perfect, her brother's not perfect, none of us are perfect. Um, she's going to, she's, she thinks she can jump off a cliff and claim, and claim victory. So she does it for attention is attention is attention. She leaves people and leaves loyalty thinking that she's going to win. She's going to win something and that she'll have fast momentum. So that's why she does it. But I see this is mainly about Ashley. So getting back to Ashley, because I did kind of go off my tangent there. Ashley is aiming to win. She wants to win. She wants that victory. She wants that success because that's what she's being told to. Even though the loyal dogs are not on the cliff, those loyal dogs are gone. She knows they're not loyal to her. Therefore, but she still needs to gun to win. She needs to gun to win. 
She knows they're going to get cut out. She knows they're not. the kids aren't going to get the tiles. She knows they're nothing but a major burden and took on too much. But she still has to build bridges. Tr still has to build bridges with the friendship with Megan and Harry as well. She's got to keep that bridge going. She's got to keep that connection going with King Charles, even though it's looking like a loser situation. And she's got to tell them, even though we don't have the loyalty here, uh, we're going to gun to win regardless. Uh, that's also can be viewed as a narcissist card because winning is everything. Win, win, win. I don't care how bad and ugly it gets, Ashley. We have to win. Uh, and you got to keep the bridge going. You got to keep talking. But Marco, in the meantime, is going to claim victimhood. She is going to charm the pants off of someone else playing victimhood, claiming damsel in distress. She will always claim dam damsel in distress because that's her winning strategy. That's always been a, a, a piece that she's played. Let's get to the tower crashing down to the worst degree. Tower crashing down to the worst degree. Envy directed at everybody. And that's why she just strong arms people. She's that bull in the china shop. They are the bull in the china shop. She just wants be that bull in the china shops. I don't care. We're not loyal. They're not loyal to us. We're going to do whatever we have to do. We're gunning for the win. Uh, so let's get that tower, that tower, that tower. Yep, she will burn it down. That scorched the earth behind you with that tower with the flames coming out. I don't care. We're not loyal. We're going to scorch the earth. And then there's that devil energy coming out. When we don't win at the negotiations, this is the negotiation position with temperance. We're, let's just let the devil fly. Let's put on our red wings and fly in Hoover and do everything we can. Uh, to take them down. So this is where we're going to take down the monarchy. We're just going to take down the whole house. Let's take down the whole establishment. So that's the ugly devil energy side that we know. And Ashley's been brought in. Now this is when you got to play really dirty, Ashley. Uh, we don't care about what the royals have to say. Uh, we don't care about that pain and melancholy with that bird there. We're just going to take them all down. So she's she's been recruited She's been recruited to make life comfortable for Markle. It's all about me, me, me. Let's make my comforts. Let's secure my comforts. Uh, Ashley knows it's not going to do anything for her. Very unfulfilled. It's going to be a breaking point where uh, she's not going to she's not going to be able to keep doing it with that Nine of Pentacles in reverse. She, she knows it's delusional. That's a delusional position to think that you can get these titles when she knows the secrets that they don't even have the DNA royal blood, full royal came from surrogates. Uh, it's going to affect not only the British monarchy, uh, from what I'm hearing from someone that knows the, the monarchies and the crowns from various house, houses, she has a very good understanding of it. And she has told me, if they, tr if they do it for this, it's going to affect all the other royal houses because they're all interconnected. So that means they're going to want to, they're going to have to scramble to apparently fix theirs if this becomes a, a pass. If they pass this, then all the others are going to have to pass it, and they're going to be like, okay, now what do we do? Uh, they're all intermingled and interconnected, apparently. I just learned that. Uh, and Harry and May, apparently Harry did not study his own history of royal houses and how they're interconnected, and he's unaware, or he's just plain stupid. Uh, let's get some more cards here. Let's get the Page of Pentacles, Page of Cups in reverse, Page of Cups in reverse with that Nine of Pentacles in reverse, with the children not getting the titles, not getting the satisfaction, not getting their cornucopia, in essence, not getting the full table of goods that they're looking for. They want it all. They're gunning for it all. They don't want an apology. They want complete submission. Uh, how do they feel about that? What's going to be the final outcome for that? Get this energy here. There we go. We have here coffin. It's the end of something. Yeah, it will be over, done with, spoken. Done, done, done. You've got no last che 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 la chess piece to play on us. It's over. So that's why let's take them down. Let's pull out the devil card. Let's just go for it. I don't care. Let's take down the monarchy, which means let's get dirtier with our books, uh, our leaks, what we want to say. We're just going to verbalize it. We're going to... They're, they don't care how bad they make themselves look. Um, one sociopath that's on YouTube says that she doesn't even have empathy for herself. Not only does she not have empathy for other people, she doesn't have it for herself. That is that Kanika, Kanika girl. I watch her shorts. I'm just like, 
blown away by her shorts. I'm like, whoa, no empathy for yourself even. Uh, that's interesting. <clears throat> I learn something new every day. <laughs> so, let's get to the Six of Cups uh, upright. Six of Cups upright with the Burden and the King of Swords in reverse with Ashley and how she feels about, okay, we're losing everything. King, George is, King, George, ugh, King Charles is going to cut you out. You've taken on too much burden that she can't even handle, but you got to keep the, keep the bridge going. We have here a message of concern. Yeah, I'm sure Markle just messages her, uh, keeps her on, a, on not even a short leash. I like the way someone worded it. It wasn't even a short leash. It's a dog collar. Keeps her on a dog collar, not even a short leash. So she keeps in constant contact with her. Uh, messages of concern could be through any text, anywhere she is. They're in constant contact. So she's constantly gunning and telling her what to do about how to keep the bridge, keep the argument going. Uh, so because she's she's a working lawyer, she's an immigration foreign affairs lawyer. So you're going to keep gunning. You're not going to give it up. You got to keep the bridge going because I need to win here. And we're just just get nasty, Ashley. Just get nasty for me. You got to win this thing. I don't care if we're traitors and we're drowning here. Go for it. So let's clarify the full in reverse in that card. What we have here is change. Yep, we got to make it. We got to change their mind. That's that recreating history. Uh, that is, we've got to keep the fuel matrix. We got to we got to change this. You got to change your mind. You cannot give up. Never give up. Keep aiming for the win. So yes, that is that resilience. That is that tungsten energy of Meghan Markle. That that Charles Pointer has. She is tungsten. You just got to be as tough as not of metals here. Okay, here we go for the next. Next two here, we have here high honor and imprisonment. Yeah, so they talk about the royal status being in a golden gilded cage and you're slit, you know, you're in prison basically, but that's what they want. That's what they want. They claim it's imprisonment, but they're aiming for it. That's exactly what they want. You know, uh, they claim that it's, it's a negative, but a positive to them. Uh, so that's what they want. And we're going to get it. We want that high honor, high honor, high status. We're going for high status here, even if it feels like a, a cage here. Uh, because why? Money. Because she wants this. That is her only aim. They want money, 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 money. Uh, very psychopathic energy. They're into white collar crime. They don't care. They don't care about empathy for themselves, anybody else. They just want the white collar crime. And that's really what this is about. It's kind of like white collar crime. It's emotional blackmail. It is extortion. She's an extortionist. Let's face it. She's an extortionist. And that's what extortion is about. Let's imprison them. Let's make them feel they're trapped too in order to get this high honor. I want to trap my children that I said and that Harry said was a, was like being, being a caught and trap like a dog, but we still want our kids to have that high honor. There's that that um, that ludicrousy of their brain. Uh, say one thing yet do another. I mean, there's absolutely no logic with these people whatsoever. They say one thing yet they do another, and that's why they they look so crazy. Uh, they don't mean what they say and say what they mean. Obviously, it's total manipulation. Let's get to the coffin. So it's coming to an end. The kids are not getting titles. They never will get titles. Uh, Charles is not going to bend and do it. He's not going to bend to Tungsten. He's not going to bend to Ashley. He's not going to bend to Harry. So let's get to the coffin. Let's get to the coffin with Ashley and her lawyerism and fighting for them, being forced to do it in essence, not something she's happy about because she does not look thrilled at all. <clears throat> what do I have here? No, oh, I need my glasses because the print is so small and I'm going blind. Here we go. Grief and adversity. So grief, lots of grief and adversity there. So, yep, they're working at it. You could see that looking at the table. Oh, Jesus, bad news. And there's Megan in the background overlooking her and seeing her. What? What'd you hear? What'd you get? And a journey. It's a long journey to get there. And that journey is going to end in nothing but grief and adversity. Yep, it's been a long time coming. Just, it's just been a wait and see. She's been fighting for them for a long time. She's been gunning for them, but it's going to fail. Let's get to the message of concern. Message of concern. How's she going to feel about Megan texting her all the time about keeping the bridge open? 
regardless of the amount of burdens and that she took on more than she can handle and, and she knows it's going to end poorly. How does she feel about being constant contact with her boss? Yeah, it, th they just wear you down. That's not, that's that, that's, that is that parasitic energy where they just suck the oxygen out of the whole room. That's Megan. Bereavement. Yeah, once again, it's coffin. It's over. End of something. End of a relationship. It will end the relationship. This relationship's going to fall apart. And it's going to make her very sick. She's going to start to say, I can't do that. Once it all starts to fall apart, she's going to walk away with probably high anxiety. She's going to have that codependency issues that trying to break the bonds that tied you, tied you to the narcissist. She's going to go through the whole breakup phase like everybody else does. Since you failed me and you screwed up, she's going to blame her, claim pity more than likely. She will throw her under the bus like she throws everyone. So I see it ending. It's the end of the relationship and there's going to be a lot of bereavement and sadness and short illness. It's going to, it's literally making her sick by representing them. Then we have here living room, the change in the living room. Yeah, so that means she will have to move out from living with her, traveling with her, because this can also be representing traveling. So just basically being cut out because the change here, there's that, that traveling too. So I don't see her going down that, that fool's path with her anymore. And I think she will end up going probably back to her own home for her own comforts because she's not going to be well. And it's going to be, it's going to come to a crash and burn ending here. And obviously this traveling is coming to an end. There's going to be bereavement because she likes the lifestyle of being able to travel, do things. So there's going to be that bit of sadness, that loss for, their, uh, for her because I think she's kind of enjoyed some of the perks, I would say. Uh, let's get to the high tower with the imprisonment. Uh, that's what they're aiming for, even though they claim it's like a, a, a palace of prison. Uh, we want to gun for high high status. Uh, let's get that. We have here the marriage card. Yeah, the marriage is going to suffer because the marriage really is built on titles, high honor, but it's a marriage built in sort of like imprisonment here. So it's going to affect the marriage. The marriage is going to be affected. The marriage feels like it's a prison in itself. And only built on titles. Titles is everything. Without the titles, uh, what good is Harry to her? If she can't get it for the kids to make money. So let's get another one on that. Get another one on that. The marriage. Clarify that marriage. We know that it's eventually going to come to an end. HG Tutor thinks it's going to go on a little bit longer than what many others do. Um, but it's it's only going to be until she's good. She's he's a good fuel source, a good tool. So yeah, as long as he's a good gentleman and she could tame the tame him a bit, it will go on longer. So I guess that's what that's saying. I'm gonna get another one on that. The good gentleman. Yeah, as long as she could tame him. That's like temperance in a way. If I can tame him, tame him, yeah, a long way. A long way. She wants to do it a long way, but it came out in reverse. So I don't think it will last super long. There's a cross there. Cross represents burden, pain, and suffering. As long as he's not um causing her too much of a burden she'll string them along as long as possible um but i don't see that happening i see that this long way is not going to be a long way because that's like a long journey oh, let's get one of these here let's get that long journey long way with the marriage yep he has to soldier on he's got to have thick skin and soldier on and then we have here and be a thief energy. Yeah, he's got to have that snake thief energy. As long as he, he can soldier on with this dark energy, with the devil energy, with the eye of envy and taking them down, then she will stick with him as long as possible because this is the, uh, the game plan. This is the long game here is taking down his family. And she's more than willing to do that. This is a seven of swords energy and I even wrote it on there seven of swords so the seven of swords is the shady character using tactics uh this is a person who works against you uh there's going to be a lot of anxiety for harry dishonesty it's also the dishonesty is coming to light that harry has been soldiering on in the situation fighting with her through that snake energy the shady character so he's been a show he has been a soldier of shady character in essence that's what his that's what his dedications to 
is taking down his own, his own family. So she will stay with him as long as she can keep control over him. But the minute she gets, she loses that control, he's gone. So it's, it really, it really bodes well for her. As long as he can suffer and do as he's told, she will stay with him. But the minute he says no, then that's when this is going to go through is how, how basically this is going to go down. Well, if you're not going to listen to me and you're not going to be the toaster and toast my bread the way I want my, my bread toasted, in essence, this is kind of how it is, then I don't like my toast that way. So you're out. So, and she's already got a secret lover, and it is the guy that owns that house in Montecito that they filmed from. That is her secret lover, by the way. And I did find out from a very reliable source. Here we go, the bouquet, yes, yeah, sweetness. I need the sweetness and with sweetness. So, sweetness, sweetness. I need you to be sweet to me, Harry. Give me what I want. It's like gifts. Give me the gifts of life, the bouquet of life. If we can take them down, that would be sweet. If we can't get this, this would still be sweet to us. It's, I could just smell the fragrance of the roses. Uh, we can feel like we've got this abundance here. Uh, the passion. It, it, it ignites a passion to be, this is what their passion is. Their passion, their passion is taking down other people, Harry soldiering on and having that thief energy. That's the passion between them. There's nothing else left here between them except taking down others is the passion. That is the end game plan. And she is for it. She is there for it 100%. But Ashley, I see Ashley getting sick, pulling out, um, going back to her previous life. But still, she'll, she's going to be gunning with Harry here, um, is how I feel. Yeah. Let's get some more on this Harry. How's Harry holding out? We got here the Grim Reaper. Yep. So it's going to end up dead. Someone's. Gonna, I personally have been saying I don't think Harry will survive this. I think Harry will be the one of them's going to end up dead. It's the Grim Reaper. One of them is not is going to go home in a cardboard box or a pine box. I feel uh, this is very could be turned very deadly, very deadly easily. Um, and I, I'll keep sticking with it. I don't think he's mentally sound enough to um, soldier on with that with that snake uh, shady character energy and through that shady character energy. And uh, I think maybe at some point in time he may he may want to remove himself off the earth plane. Uh, Markle is toxic enough where I think uh, with her would be through um, careless behavior. Uh, and uh, total recklessness with um, probably like a benzodiazepine mixed with wine, go to bed and then never wake up. Um, I think personally, that's always been my thoughts of how things could very well end up. For Markle, it could be years from now, uh, but I think for Harry, it would be very much short, more short term uh, because he is the weak link here. He's not the one who's wearing the pants. And it's always the one not wearing the pants that falls and crashes and burns. Not the one wearing the pants. Not the, not the ringleader. So let's find out. Is Harry going to be the one who ends up with the Grim Reaper? Is Harry going to end up with the Grim Reaper? Is Harry going to end up with the Grim Reaper? Will he survive? He will end up with the Grim Reaper. Are you saying that will Harry, will Harry get out of this in one piece? Will Harry get out of this in one piece? No, he will not. No, he will not. So that's, and I, you know, I can never get away from that. I do it privately. I've been, I got it a couple of years ago about the Grim Reaper and Harry. Um, unfortunately, this is why education is so important because they literally can take you down to the point of death. Uh, in order to get what they want, you, you may end up dead. And because all they care about is what they want. What I want, I will get. I don't care how much I burden other people. That's That just does not matter. No empathy for themselves or for other people, including Harry. I hope you enjoy this. Till next time, like and subscribe. And once again, I will not be back until till Monday. Monday night, I'll probably be able to, or sometime Monday. So anyways, just taking a little break, a little breather. I need a breather. All right, you guys, thanks for watching, and I appreciate the love and the concern and all the likes and such positive um, comments. You know, I don't feel like I deserve these positive comments. It kind of, I sometimes I actually feel a little embarrassed, like, wow, that's so kind. So anyways, I'm pretty humble about it. Believe it or not, I'm not full of myself. All right, you guys, bye.